Good evening, I am Mary Gans, the very proud principal here at Falmouth High School, and I welcome you to our Fall Sports Awards Night. We are here tonight to honor our student athletes, our coaches, and everyone else who helped make this a fun and successful athletic season. I extend a very special thank you to our parents, guardians, family members, and booster clubs. Without your time and support, we simply would not have the programs that we have. And a very special thank you as well to each one of you FHS Clippers. You not only work hard at being the best, best athlete you can be, but you work equally as hard in the classroom. Indeed, this fall season, we had 305 students participate in our sports. 86 made the high honor roll, and 122 made the honor roll. That is an, that is an incredible 68% of our fall student athletes who achieved academic honors. You truly exemplify, all of you, what it means to be a Clipper. Congratulations to each and every one of you Clippers for a wonderful fall season. I will now turn the evening over to our Athletic Director, Kathleen Burke. Welcome to the 2021 Fall Sports Awards presentation. I'm Kathleen Burke, Athletic Director here at Falmouth High School. Like just about everything this, else this year, COVID-19 has forced us to change the way we do things. Instead of our traditional in-person recognition of our sports team, we have prepared this virtual presentation to recognize our student athletes' achievements. Over 300 of our students participated in cross country, field hockey, soccer, football, cheerleading, volleyball, and our golf programs this fall. I want to express my appreciation to all of the student athletes, coaches, parents, and support staff that made this fall season possible. Despite the many obstacles and challenges, uh, we've had many successes and outstanding individual and team performances to recognize this fall. The first team we'd like to recognize is our unified basketball team. It is coached by Mr. Steve Femino and Mr. Rory Morse. We had 15 of our students um, involved in this program as players and partners. Uh, Unified Basketball finished with a record of four and one with competitive and exciting games against Plymouth South, Monomoy, and Martha's Vineyard. We would like to recognize one member of this team for the Sportsmanship Award. Talia Leterio is a freshman. She was a first year partner and helped keep the team motivated. She was thoughtful and was part of making the season enjoyable for everyone. We'd also like to recognize members of the teams with coaches awards. Three members were selected by the coaches for these awards. First, senior Ben Barney. The highlight for Ben was making a three-pointer at the buzzer to capture the win over Martha's Vineyard. Ben is a true teammate, always looking to make everyone else better. Also recognized with the Coaches Award will be Catherine Hawthorne, a freshman, this first year player on the team. She's a hard worker and never missed a day. Um, and another freshman recognized with the Coaches Award, Olivia Fernani, uh, is just a first year player, truly loves the game. She's a joy to have around and always has a positive attitude. Okay. Next, we'd like to recognize our cheerleading team. We had 11 athletes on, this squ on the squad this year. They cheered at home and away football games and the unified basketball games. The Sportsmanship Award from cheerleading goes to Summer Mueller. Summer is a junior and she's always given the sport um, all of her effort and has a great attitude. She has passion and the will to learn and her main focus has always been on what's best for the team. She's also been a great team leader, a captain and a role model and selected for the Coaches Award from the cheerleading squad was junior Madison Sylvester. Maddie is an all around accomplished cheerleader. Okay. Next up is the, are the cross country teams. They were coached by John Long, Connor Markham, and assisted this year by Sandy Parkinson. Um, from the girls cross country team, we had uh, one member selected for honorable mention by the league coaches. Josephine Oberton is a junior. She was consistently the number one runner on the team. She's run very uh, successfully in dual meet competition and improved greatly as the season progressed. From the boys cross country team, we had one member selected as an all-star and that's junior Henry Gartner. Henry was the top runner on Cape Cod 
and through and at the state this season. He finished sixth with a time of 16.03 at the All-State Meet in Rentham. He was also the recipient of a coach's award for his hard work and dedication to the team. Henry's been an outstanding performer here and we look forward to his senior year to set more records. Um, an honorable mention selection from Boys Cross Country uh, from the league coaches goes to Milo Van Moy. Milo was consistently the number two runner on the team. He showed great improvement as the season progressed and was very successful in dual meet competition. Milo was also selected for the Sportsmanship Award for the varsity team this year. Okay, uh, another member of the team selected for Sportsmanship Award for Boys Cross Country, Adrian Blackwell is a sophomore. Adrian was a quiet leader on the team. His hard work and dedication allowed him to be an excellent role model to the younger member of the teams. And the coaches also selected a freshman, Connor Fury, um, for a sportsmanship award. Connor is new to the cross country program. He is, a motivated, he is motivated and has made vast improvements as the season progressed. Uh, the, sp um, the sportsmanship award for girls cross country goes to Junior Layden Steedman. Layden provided outstanding leadership, especially to the younger members of the team this season. She is also a recipient of a coaches award. And from Lawrence School, we had several students from Lawrence School come up and join the cross country program this year. Addie Birmingham was selected for a sportsmanship award. She was a dedicated member of the cross country team and through hard work and motivation, she made impressive improvements during her first year. Team members selected for coaches awards from the girls, Layden Steedman, a junior, and Josephine Oberton. Coaches awards for boys cross country go to Henry Gartner and Milo Van Moy. All right, next up is fall golf, which is coached by Rich Mason and James Brooks. Um, they had one member of this year's team selected for all-star recognition, and that goes to junior Connor Hennigan. Connor is a three-year varsity player who was unanimously chosen by the coaches to be a Cape and Islands All-Star. He had the lowest scoring average on the team at six over par for nine holes. He also represented the team at the Vineyard Cup Invitational and the Cape and Islands um, High School Invitational Championships. The Sportsmanship Award for the Fall Golf Program for the varsity squad that goes to junior Eric Shequin. This is Eric's first year as a varsity player and he impressed both the players and coaches with his respect for the game, his opponents and his demeanor on the golf course. He is a solid representative of Falmouth High School and the golf program. And from the junior varsity um, boys golf team, we'd like to recognize sophomore Hayden Cusolito. Hayden is a student athlete that takes the game seriously, yet always seems to have fun on the course. He is a very bright young man with a strong understanding of the rules and etiquette of the game. He will be a large contributor to the program in the future. The coaches awards for the fall golf team from the varsity team. Declan Norris is a sophomore, Nathan Hopwood is a junior, and Hayden Cusolito is a sophomore. And from the junior varsity squad, Charlie Hostetter is a freshman, Bennett Trebu, a junior, and Jackson Falcone is a sophomore. Next up is the boys soccer team. It was coached by David Plourd, is our head coach, and it was assisted by Ken Briggs and Todd Pinkham. Uh, all stars for boys soccer. First, we had two team members selected as all stars. First, Lucas Reese, who's a senior. Lucas brings everything all-star selections possess, speed, balance, strength, and technical ability. Lucas was also selected as an Eastern Mass all-star. And our second all-star for boys soccer goes to sophomore James Hurth. James is tough, gritty, skilled player, and he brings these skills to every game and practice. Um, Selected as an honorable mention by the Cape and Islands um, coaches, that award goes to sophomore Caleb Souza. Caleb is a skilled player with a good understanding of the game and his opponents. Caleb is also nominated for a coaches award. 
the Sportsmanship Awards for Boys Soccer. First, from the varsity team, senior Thomas Peterson. Tommy is a solid, skilled soccer player and a strong leader on the field from the goalkeeping position. And for the junior varsity team, the Sportsmanship Award goes to freshman Jacob Porker. Jacob is a great teammate that worked on improving his skills each day. His positive energy was contagious. Okay. Coaches Awards for boys soccer. First from the varsity squad, Caleb Souza is a sophomore, as is Ryan Simone. Uh, from the junior varsity squad, Connor Cusolito, uh, Ethan Littman, and Camden Romberger, all freshmen um, on that JV team. Okay. Next up is uh, the awards for our girls soccer team. Head coach was Corey Dubuque, and he was assisted by Brittany Carlson. Um, First, we had four All-Stars selected uh, by the league for um, our girls' soccer team. Uh, first one, Ella Seeger. She was selected as an All-Star from the goalkeeper position. Uh, with amazing um, focus and instincts, Ella would make seemingly miraculous saves in net that few goalkeepers could make. She also had incredible range, sending punts and kicks well into the, an opponent's territory. Um, Ella was also selected as an All Eastern Mass All Star for the first team. Second player selected as an All Star is senior Mia Cavosa. Mia played uh, the defensive mid position. She was aggressive and skilled at turning the ball into our own attack, offensive attack. Mia was, an, um, was in on corner kicks, creating several offensive chances throughout the season. Mia was also selected to the all Eastern Mass team, um, second team this year. Next All-Star for girls soccer is junior Elizabeth Janes. Um, Elizabeth is an offensive mid. She was critical in preventing the opponents from setting up and also distributing the ball in our offensive end. Elizabeth was selected as um, second team All Eastern Mass All-Star. And the fourth All-Star from our girls soccer team was Tish Blackwood. Tish is a, a sophomore. She's a true force to be reckoned with. At the central defender position, most of the opponent's offensive attacks had to make their way through her. With speed, strength, and intelligent gameplay, Tish always made the opponents look over their shoulders, second-guessing themselves. Selected um, as an honorable mention by the Cape and Island coaches, and that is senior Samantha McKenzie. Sam was critical in holding down the central defensive position. Sam is an intelligent athlete, aggressive when she had to be, and patient at other times. She won most every ball, and with her strong foot, she could quickly send the ball to our offensive players. And now for the Sportsmanship Awards for girls soccer. First from the varsity squad, junior Julia Roman. Julia, Julia was selected for the Sportsmanship Award as she is always a positive voice for her team and her playing style and her support of her fellow teammates. Her work ethic and poise were evident at every practice and every game. From the junior varsity team, freshman Lily Matthews was selected for the Sportsmanship Award. Lily was a pleasure to have on the team. She came to practices and games um, every day with a positive attitude and made big improvements throughout the season and was a great teammate. The Coaches Awards for Girls Soccer. From the varsity, Rochelle Andre, Caitlin Charette, and Cassia Jablecki. Okay. And from the junior varsity squad, coaches awards will go to Grace Gavin, a sophomore, Lily Zach, also a sophomore, and Rachel Larson, a junior. Yeah. All right. Next up is our football um, team. It finished with a five and five record. The head coach is Joe Morenci, and he was assisted by Mike Andrews, Tim Medeiros, Paul Osberg, Mike Slavinsky, Mike Halen, and Jonathan Trump. Uh, six members of our football team were selected as Cape and Island All-Stars. First is senior John Vincent. John was a tough running guard who helped anchor a strong offensive line. This was his second time being selected as an All-Star. Um, due to his physical play on both the offense and defense side of the ball. He was also a team captain for this year's squad. 
Next football all-star is senior Nolan Murphy. Nolan was voted a league all-star after earning honorable mention last year. His determination and tough play were keys to Falmouth's success this season. Nolan really came off the field and made many big plays on both sides of the ball. He was also a team captain for this year's squad. Next all-star is senior Aiden LeBlanc. As a first-time league all-star, Aiden was the leader on the defensive side of the ball. He had a knack for finding the football and making big plays when needed. He was a leader on the football team and was constantly motivating teammates as a captain of this year's squad. Next all-star is Junior, Brady Garcia. Brady is an extremely strong and physical lineman who played on both sides of the ball. He helped anchor the offensive line and will look to his continued success next year. Now the junior all-star, this award goes to Cooper Young. Cooper Young was a key to running our offense this year. He led the team in rushing and was the centerpiece of our offense. He was a two-way starter who really came off the field and we'll look to him for, him for more success next year as a senior. Um, and the final all-star selected by the Cape and Islands coaches, that honor goes to senior Eric Zielinski. Eric was a two-way starter for the team who quietly made big plays all season. Known for making big hits on defense, Eric also was a fast runner who made huge blocks on the offensive side of the ball. Selected as an honorable mention by the uh, league coaches uh, was senior Jared Lopes. Jared earned league all-star honorable mention for his senior season. An unselfish player, he moved position several times all season in order to help his team uh, win and make big plays as a, at receiver and also as safety for the Clippers this season. All right. Next, the Sportsmanship Awards for football. First was um, from the varsity squad is John Vincent, a senior leader and captain um, who, as we said earlier, made a big impact on both offense and defense this year. Uh, from the junior vars varsity squad, Roger Bowman, selected for this award because he always put the team first and demonstrated a deep respect for his opponents, coaches, and the game of football and from the freshman team, Jordan Henricks. Jordan is a great teammate that picked up those around him every day. When he was done with the drill and practice, he would often run back out on the field to help motivate everyone else that was still working. All right. And the coaches awards for football this year from the varsity squad. First, senior Nicholas Cohn. Next, junior Jeffrey Rose. And another junior, Roger Bowman. From the junior varsity squad, sophomore Thomas Bushy, sophomore Evan Hutman, and on, from the freshman team, we're recognizing two players, Garrett Cormier and Adam Kinsworthy. All right. Next up is the volleyball program. They finished with a, a record of 11 and 9 and went to the tournament this year. Um, two members of the volleyball squad were selected for all-star recognition. First, Camille Lee, which is a senior, senior captain and setter. She's a two-year starter, and she, as a setter, she ran the Clippers offense and when given the opportunity to attack, was a strong hitter. Camille was also a strong server who had huge games against Sandwich and Nasset. And the second all-star from this year's volleyball team, that honor goes to senior Sydney Seventy senior captain and middle hitter. She's a two-year starter who led the team with 119 kills and 27 blocks. She also played back row and was a strong server with 32 aces. Sydney's all-around skills improved with every game she played this year. And selected as an honorable mention for the volleyball team this year was senior Megan Robbins. Uh, Megan is a middle hitter. She led the team with 35 blocks, 55 aces, and added in 81 kills. Megan is an intelligent player who always shows up ready to play. Right, sports, um, sportsmanship awards for volleyball. From the varsity squad, that honor goes to junior Emily Allen. 
Emily is a back row player. She always had a positive attitude both on and off the court and gave her best effort and supported her teammates. She will be a leader and a key player on next year's squad. From the junior varsity team, Christina Femino. Christina is a freshman and she exemplifies a good, uh, being a good teammate and competitor. She cheers on the strengths of others while working to be her best. From our freshman team, Eleanor Rosenthal. Ella, Ella was a dedicated player who showed great improvement. She was always there for her team, cheering them on, whether she was on the court or from the bench. And the coaches awards for volleyball this year. From the varsity squad, um, first senior and um, considered the MVP, Camille Leek, um, freshman and most dedicated, Lila Birkenstecki, and senior, the leadership award goes to Anna Fernandez. From the junior varsity squad, junior Delia Ralston, uh, sophomore Mia Cooper, and sophomore Anna Bennett. And selected for coaches awards from the freshman team, Abigail Lane, Haley Ferreira, and Lily Foos. All right. And now as tradition, requires the team with the best overall record in this fall season will recognize last um, and that is the field hockey team coached by uh, Courtney Lima and assisted by Erin Caswell and Carissa April. Field hockey finished with a 15, 2 and 5 overall record and became a finalist in the state semifinals. A really um, incredible season. Um, and we want to take a few minutes just to recognize some of the outstanding players on that team. First of all, four members of the team selected as league all-stars. Catherine Shanahan is a junior. Um, Katie was the playmaker. As a junior co-captain, Katie led the team with 14 assists. Her heart and passion make her a force to be reckoned with, and we are fortunate to have her back for one more season. Also selected as a league all-star, junior Natalie Bosselman. One of the most talented field hockey players at Falmouth High School, both offensively and defensively. Her role as a left midfielder was one of our strongest assets this season. Her aggression and spirit is highly anticipated for one more season. Okay, and now a sophomore selected as a league all-star. That goes to Avery Johnson. Uh, Avery had a season high of 13 goals this season with nine assists. Avery's consistency this season contributed to the team's success. Okay, and one more all-star, and that is senior Grace Hostetter. Senior co-captain and outstanding defender, three-year varsity player, and one of the strongest defenders in the league. Her tenacity and competitiveness will be dip deeply missed next year. Selected as an honorable mention by the league coaches is senior Colleen Caswell. Her sp Colleen's speed and fearlessness is um, irreplaceable. She's a wonderful contributor to our forward line this season. She was recognized by the league for her role as the fly on the defensive corners. Okay. And now the sportsmanship awards for field hockey. Um, first, Cara, um, Cara Gidi, a three-year varsity player and positive role model. Um, for all the underclassmen and all those around her. Her laugh and smile were contagious, and we're wishing her well next year. From the junior varsity team, the Sportsmanship Award will go to Isabella Hawkins. She's a sophomore. Bella is kind, hardworking teammate who did whatever she do, do, could do to help the team. Coaches Awards for field hockey from the varsity team. First senior, Hope Oliveira, will receive the Most Improved Coaches Award. Um, sophomore Jane Hostetter will receive the Rookie of the Year Award. And Nevea Melton, a senior, the un unsung hero. From the junior varsity team, Isabella Foley, a freshman, receives the Most Improved Award. And those are our individual awards um, for this past fall season. We want to congratulate all of the teams and thank everyone for their support um, throughout the season.